HNL presents The Age of Madonia, The First Spin Campaign, The Fourth Act, The Bloodthirsty System. The women of Guardian, Sumi Ball and Leon Pell, broke into the capital city where they encountered Shanae Seymour, the bloodthirsty sister of Simone, and her fiery bodyguard, Riley Sayers, in a rematch for the ages. Ah, uh, Shani, so you wretched whores have returned. This time you come personally to me. I will slay you all. I'll slay the entire universe. But that is my goal and destiny. Curse my weak brother. I should be the one in charge. All of you fools have been dead. And so my boss said, you face me one on one. And last time I checked, you lost to me. So if anyone is supposed to be dead, it's you. And Shane went to fight Sumi Bon. And then Riley Sears engulfed herself in flames and was about to attack um, Sumi Bon. But Neon stopped her and said, Huh, remember me? And Riley pushed back and said, Yes, I do. This time you will not get the better of me. And then the two started to confront one another. These four women went to attack, and the place was a flaming and bloody mess. But Janae was slaying people left and right, but could not attack Sumi Bor. Sumi Bor's strength as a warrior, a veteran who, in the previous wars between the Shana and Bankrun, single handedly, forever separated Bankrun. And this was just another Bankrun force now that they're great. Damon had powers were no more. So many balls after Shane to finish up, to finish the future of the first spin off, to avenge all those who had died to Shane's but thirsty rage. Still, Shane and Raleigh, despite being pushed back, still carried on a stubborn resistance. Yantia and Sumi Bo Knowing that this would be the fate of their lives. Knowing that they might not even survive the end of this war. They were prepared to martyr themselves for the sake of the future generations of the universe yet to be unborn. And so they continue on their fight.